Today I'm honored to be here with Dr. Anil Herod and on the account of World Health Day we have a few questions for you hello doctor hello so among all my questions my first question is what inspired you to be an oncologist so how did this journey of your life start thank you krish thank you for taking out the time and uh, coming here for this world health day uh, so uh, cancer is is an important problem and i'm glad you have taken uh, pains to highlight this on this very important occasions so what inspired me to become an oncologist well that's an interesting story so i was doing my general surgery at uh, sain general hospital and we got an opportunity to go to tata memorial hospital which you as you know is the premier cancer institute in south asia or in the world so uh, if i may dare to say and there maine jo dekha was a was a phenomenon that i had never seen before we hum logo ne bahut kuch dekha tha sain mein lekin jab maine tata mein dekha the pain the suffering the kind of challenges jo patient ke samne hai and the challenges were on multiple fronts ek disease jo bahut dreaded tha ek disease jiske cure ke bare mein logon ke mann mein bahut aashankaye thi surgeries jo bahut challenging thi bahut difficult thi और जिनके लिए आपको बहुत पेन स्टेकिंग के लिए काम करना पड़ता था विच यूज टू इन्वॉल्व अ लॉट ऑफ कमिटमेंट एंड दैट रियली इंस्पायर्ड मी दैट रियली स्टफ मी दैट दैट शुड बी माय लाइफ वर्क एंड दैट्स व्हाई आई फेल्ट दैट दिस शुड बी व्हाट आई शुड बी डूइंग रेस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ दैट वाज लाइक क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज व्हेन यू सॉ इट एंड यू फेल्ट द नीड टू हेल्प पीपल विद दिस डेंजरस डिजीज सो लाइक वाइल टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ people are affected we know how dangerous of a disease cancer is so can you give a, like because everyone talks this is cancer but no one actually knows what cancer is so can you give us a little brief about what cancer is and how it affects us so cancer kaise hota hai ki bahut logon mein man mein aashankaye hoti hai ki this is a disease that comes from outside bahut log puchte hai ki ye germs ke wajah se hota hai koi virus ke wajah se hota hai लेकिन द इंटरेस्टिंग पार्ट अबाउट कैंसर इज दैट कैंसर इज नॉट समथिंग दैट कम्स फ्रॉम आउटसाइड ये अपने शरीर का रेबिलियन होता है सो एज टू से अपने ही शरीरों की जो पेशियां रहती हैं जो सेल्स रहते हैं दे विल सडनली स्टार्ट मल्टीप्लाइंग वन बिकम्स टू टू बिकम्स फोर एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर कैन अ मास इज फॉर्म एंड दिस मास इज कॉल्ड एज अ ट्यूमर और दिस ट्यूमर कैन बी अ कैंसरस ट्यूमर विच मीन्स दैट इट कैन गो फ्रॉम ऑर्गन टू ऑर्गन जैसे टेररिस्ट रहते हैं जिनको कोई बॉर्डर्स नहीं रहती सो दिस इज अ डिजीज विदाउट बॉर्डर्स इट कैन अफेक्ट एनी पार्ट ऑफ योर बॉडी एंड दैट इज वॉट एग्जैक्टली वॉट कैंसर इज ना वॉट कॉजेस इट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग वॉट कॉजेज द बॉडी टू रेबल इट कुड बी एक्सटर्नल इट कुड बी इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स आर वेल नोन नियरली सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ कैंसर इज सपोज टू बी लाइफ स्टाइल रिलेटेड हम क्या खाते हैं हम क्या पीते हैं Uh, कोई सिगरेट पी रहा है कोई तंबाकू खा रहा है कोई दारू पी रहा है कोई स्ट्रेसफुल uh, लाइफस्टाइल जी रहा है फिजिकल एक्टिविटी नहीं कर रहा है समबडी इज वेरी ओबीज ही हैज इज ओवर वेट ऑल दीज थिंग्स गो इन टू मेकिंग ऑफ कैंसर एंड देन देर आर सम थिंग्स दैट यू नो यू आर जस्ट बॉर्न विथ इट फाइव फाइव टू टेन परसेंट ऑफ कैंसर आर सेट टू बी जेनेटिक इन ओरिजिन सो कैंसर is caused by a plethora of reasons and of course viruses also do cause cancer so there are a couple of cancers which are caused by viruses cervical cancer is caused by a virus uh, there is a uh, there is a disease called as lymphoma of the lymph nodes which is caused by a virus so there are there are some some diseases which are caused by infection as well so that is what cancer is so when you said these cells travel to multiple different organs and we know the complexity because you just explained us so can you tell us about some common types of cancer because cancers are of various types as you said the cells travel to multiple organs so we have lung cancer we have breast cancer so can you tell us more about these common cancers and their treatments so agar uh, let's split this question into two parts one is about what are the common types of cancers as far as the world is concerned and as far as our country is concerned so agar duniya ki dekhi jaye to the most common cancer in the world is lung cancer today and breast cancer so breast cancer in both males and females combined and lung cancers in males okay so these are very common cancers the next cancers is cancer of the large intestine cancer of the oral cavity 
cancers of uh, the uterus and ovary these are various types and of course blood cancer so these are various types of common cancers in the world now as if we talk of india india you know is is a large country we are now the most populous and we are home to nearly 12 lakh cancer patients every year now this figure was somewhere around 5 lakhs 5 lakh se do jo 2005 mein 2005 mein ये पांच लाख फिगर हुआ करती थी आज वो बढ़ के हो गई है ऑलमोस्ट बारह से तेरह लाख विच मीन्स इन ट्वेंटी इयर्स वी हैव मोर देन नियरली ट्रिपल्ड अभी सवाल ये आता है कि कौन से कैंसर्स बड़े हैं अगर सबसे कैंसर की सबसे ज्यादा जिसमें बढ़ोतरी हुई है तो देन इट इज ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर फिगर्स है रियली रीजन नियरली टू लैख पीपल आर डायग्नोज विद ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एवरी ईयर second can and this is males and females combined so though 99% of breast cancer occurs in females it is still the largest number of patients being afflicted with cancer are breast cancer patients the number two cancer in women is cervical cancer cervical cancer yani jo bachche dani rehti hai bachche dani ki muh ko jo cancer hota hai the mouth of the uterus that is called as the cervix aur wo cervical cancer number two ka cancer hota hai in males it is cancer of the oral cavity and nobody there are no prizes for guessing why it is so in the indian subcontinent obviously it is because of gutka so number 2 is uh, uh, oral cancer uh, number 3 is lung cancer and then cancer of the colon and so on and so forth so uh, india has a very large cancer burden and the problem is that because cancer is a disease that consumes so much resource it is also a big problem for a middle and uh, low income country like ours a treatments of cancer also have undergone a sea change jab pehle kya hua karta tha ki cancer mein hamare liye sirf it used to be just the word d ki baba cancer hua to in gujarati you know bahut baar log kehte hain ki cancer thai gaya to pachi manas cancel thai gaya so now this is uh, this is something which we used to hear so very often and i'm glad that abhi iska jo uh, jo frequency hai sunne ka wo bahut kam ho gaya hai that is because people are seeing hope and that hope comes from whatever advances in treatment that we are now witnessing cancer ki treatment teen tarike se hoti hai surgery radiotherapy or chemotherapy these are the pillars of cancer treatment नाउ सर्जरी में क्या एडवांसेस हुए हैं सर्जरी में द टेक्नोलॉजी हैज चेंज आज सर्जरी के बारे में मैं हम लोग पहले बहुत बड़े इंसिजेंस लेते थे बहुत म्यूटिलेटिंग सर्जरीज होती थी लेकिन आज टुडे इफ यू सी द सर्जरीज दैट हैपन दे आर डन थ्रू की होल्स जैसे लैप्रोस्कोपी जैसे गॉल ब्लैडर की सर्जरी में होता है वैसे कैंसर के सर्जरी में भी मिनिमम इंसिजन लेके सर्जरी हो सकती है रोबोटिक से सर्जरी हो सकती है फंक्शन प्रिजर्विंग सर्जरी जो रहती है जिसमें सिर्फ ये नहीं देखा जाता कि हम कैंसर को निकाले कैसे ये भी देखा जाता है कि भाई ये आदमी को बाकी जिंदगी अपनी गुजारनी है जब वो कैंसर से ठीक हो जाएगा तो आगे क्या उसको जाके अपनी कमाई रोजी रोटी तो करनी है सो बैक टू लाइफ एंड बैक टू वर्क इज द स्लोगन ऑफ कैंसर सर्जन सो फंक्शनल रिहेबिलिटेटिव सर्जरीज अगर हम ब्रेस्ट की सर्जरी कर रहे हैं तो हम ब्रेस्ट कंजर्वेशन के बारे में सोचते हैं अगर हम मुंह की सर्जरी कर रहे हैं ओरल कैंसर के लिए सर्जरी कर रहे हैं तो हम सोच रहे हैं कि उसकी जॉ रिकंस्ट्रक्ट कैसे हो कि वो ऐसे कोई रैमसे का मूवी का विलन न दिखे तो उसके लिए हम लोग सोचते हैं कि हम लोग उसके रिहेबिलिटेशन कैसे करें तीसरी चीज होती है कि उसके बाद उसकी जो फॉलोअप्स होती हैं जिसमें रिहेबिलिटेशन होता है फिजियोथेरेपी होती है ये सब चीजें आज एक कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव सर्जिकल ऑन्कोलॉजी केयर में आती है और इसके वजह से पीपल्स क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इज ऑल्सो इम्प्रूव नॉट ओनली द क्वांटिटी इट इज ऑल्सो द क्वालिटी सो वी आर नॉट ओनली एडिंग इयर्स टू देयर लाइफ वी आर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू एड लाइफ टू देयर इयर्स दूसरी रेडियोथेरेपी में भी बहुत चेंजेस आ गए हैं रेडियोथेरेपी पहले हुआ करता था कि लोगों को इतना डर था रेडियोथेरेपी से आप बिलीव नहीं करोगे लोगों को लगता था कि रेडियोथेरेपी उन्हें शॉक देते हैं इलेक्ट्रिक शॉक तो ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं है रेडियोथेरेपी में आजकल जो एडवांसेस हुए हैं उसके वजह से सॉफ्टवेयर्स इतने अच्छे हुए हैं कि आज रेडियोथेरेपी से हमको 
मिनिमम साइड इफेक्ट्स होते हैं पहले स्किन ऐसे हार्ड हो जाती थी ऐसे वुड के माफक हो जाती थी बट नाउ द नाउ रेडियोथेरेपी यू कैन यू नो आफ्टर अ फ्यू इयर्स इट इज हार्डली सीन द साइड इफेक्ट्स हैव डिक्रीज यू कैन गिव टारगेटेड रेडिएशन यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव रेडिएशन टू अ वेरी स्मॉल एरिया तो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन ब्रेस्ट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज पार्शल ब्रेस्ट रेडिएशन सो द होल ब्रेस्ट इज नॉट रेडिएटेड स्पेशली इन अर्ली ब्रेस्ट कैंसर्स सो उसमें रेडिएशन में भी बदलाव आ गए हैं कीमोथेरेपी uh, अभी कीमोथेरेपी से लोग बहुत डरते हैं लोगों को लगता है कि हम सर्जरी करवा लेंगे हम रेडिएशन करवा लेंगे लेकिन भाई कीमोथेरेपी से हम को दूर रखिएगा तो कीमोथेरेपी इज समथिंग दैट पीपल फियर अ लॉट एंड लकीली देर हैज ऑल्सो बीन अ लॉट ऑफ चेंज एज फार एज कीमोथेरेपी इज कंसर्न नाउ इन कीमोथेरेपी वॉट इज हैपन्ड इज फर्स्ट थिंग द सपोर्टिव ट्रीटमेंट फॉर कीमोथेरेपी जैसे आपने सुना होगा कि बहुत उल्टियाँ होती है बहुत बर्निंग होता है शरीर का ये सब हम लोग लोग एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं बट सपोर्टिव केयर इतनी अच्छी हो गई है कि दिस साइड इफेक्ट्स हैव कम डाउन हाँ देर इज हेयर लॉस देर इज अ लिटिल अमाउंट ऑफ वीकनेस थोड़ा सा टेस्ट बदल जाता है ये सब साइड इफेक्ट्स होते हैं लेकिन दीज आर ऑल टेम्प्रोरी जब कीमोथेरेपी रुक जाती है तभी ये सब रिवर्स हो जाते हैं आई हैव येट टू सी एनी बडी हु इज नॉट ग्रोन अर हेयर बैक आफ्टर टेकिंग कीमोथेरेपी टारगेटेड कीमोथेरेपी भी आ गया है कि जिसमें जैसे आजकल के जो मिसाइल्स रहते हैं कि जो पिन पॉइंट टारगेट करते हैं फ्रॉम थाउजेंड्स ऑफ माइल्स अवे वैसे ये ड्रग्स जाके कैंसर सेल्स को अटैक कर सकते हैं और इसके लिए साइड इफेक्ट्स कम होते हैं इफेक्टिविटी भी उसकी बढ़ती है तो थर्ड थिंग दैट इज हैपन्ड इज इम्यूनोथेरेपी नाउ यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड अबाउट दिस इम्यूनोथेरेपी सो इम्यूनोथेरेपी एक्चुअली एनकरेजेज द बॉडीज इम्यून सिस्टम टू फाइट कैंसर एंड हेल्प्स इट डू दैट दिस इज बीइंग यूज्ड इन अ लॉट ऑफ कैंसर्स नाउ एंड हैज शोन अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉमिस सो दीज आर द चेंजेस दैट हैव ऑकर्ड इन द मेन स्ट्रीम कैंसर ट्रीटमेंट बिसाइड दिस सपोर्टिव केयर वॉज ऑल्सो ग्रोन सो we now have dietitians giving advice we have geneticists giving proper advice about family cancer about whom to test they also recommend what are the early screening techniques the rehabilitation specialists like physiotherapist occupational therapist all all of us work together to give the patient a comprehensive care and that is exactly what my aim as a as the head and surgical oncology at fortis or at a, at our onco panel cancer clinic is to do is to coordinate the efforts of all these people in giving our patients a comprehensive care so it is not only about ki bhai maine tumor nikal diya mera kaam ho gaya it's not about that it's about getting the patient back on his feet and running to humne so uh, advancement in cancer surgery is ki to baat kar li but at the first place लोग डरे हुए हैं बाय द वर्ड कैंसर दे गेट्स कैट व्हेन दे हियर समथिंग रिलेटेड टू कैंसर सो आई जस्ट वांट टू नो व्हाई द स्क्रीनिंग फिगर्स इन इंडिया आर सो डाउन बिकॉज इफ पीपल आर नॉट गेटिंग स्क्रीन देन दे डोंट नो इफ दे आर हैविंग अ चांस ऑफ गेटिंग कैंसर सो हाउ डू वी एनकरेज सच पीपल लाइक सम मिथ्स और सम फैक्ट्स अबाउट स्क्रीनिंग and some facts about early detection so it is the fear of the unknown krish so finally uh, a lot of times uh, you tend to avoid dark places and dark rooms because you fear that there is a ghost there right so we don't want to go there so people just avoid uh, cancer detection like the plague they they feel that if they go to a, even a cancer surgeon so they they feel they'll catch cancer so that is the fear that people have and that is why we uh, screening is not done secondly uh, as a country you now if you if you know something about public health so can we have a lot many other problems the government has a lot of other priorities which are which take a lot of resources which take a lot of money and that is why uh, cancer screening probably because if you look at the entire figures in a country where we are still fighting malaria and tb and drinking water cancer probably becomes too much of a load for the public health systems to take and that is why uh, we do not have uh, public screening programs uh, i think that is where 
organizations like ours do come in and uh, play a small role like for uh, as talking about us we have uh, we have an ngo arm uh, which is called as hope smiles and sunshine and that is doing screening work in this entire area entire belt of thane down in rural areas as well especially for people who are not able to even access facilities for screening okay so i may know i may want to get screened but i don't know i don't have access so that is where uh, we have a mammography van uh, so this has uh, this goes from place to place in fact uh, from this world health day we have now initiated uh, a campaign called as cancer kavach and uh, you know kavach means a shield okay. right so kavach cancer kavach so cancer kavach will do screening in dombivli dombivli uh, where we will we plan to do uh, 12 camps which in are in different locations and this will be the van standing there and they will that van will be only station station there for a single purpose and we are going to say that if you cannot come to the center we are going to come to your doorsteps and we are going to help you get screen we are also going to spread awareness among all these uh, uh, societies in order to we are distributing pamphlets which tell us about uh, early stages of cancer and what to look for the seven cardinal signs of uh, symptoms of cancer uh, and by that we hope to make people aware and make them less fearful that it is not a death sentence and because if you are detected early so uh, marathi mein we say that velet jivdan velet nidan del jivdan so if you get an early diagnosis you are actually going to get a lifeline that is the aim of the cancer kavach and uh, the first camp we did uh, yesterday and we had a very good response i am happy to say and uh, let's hope that we cover at least this suburb and then we can take this project uh, slowly to other cities with uh, the support of the community at large so now that we speak about cancer screening and as we spoke before about different types of cancer in male and female so is there any age line or an optimum age where a person should ideally come and get screened for a particular type of cancer so that's a very good question so when should people get screened so screening is not for everybody you cannot have a 15 year old go and do mammograms okay just because she reads on youtube uh, or google that mammography is det early detection of breast cancer so screening is done for breast cancer each cancer has its own specific guidelines for example in breast cancer we start screening at the age of 40 where it is done why once in 2 years and then at the age of 50 where it starts being done annually once a year saal mein ek bar agar aapki umr 50 saal ke upar ho saal mein do saal mein ek bar agar aapki umar 40 aur 50 ke beech ki ho and this goes on till the age of 65 65 saal ki umar ki umar tak screening aapko karwani chahiye दूसरा होता है सर्वाइकल कैंसर आपको याद होगा मैंने कहा था कि ब्रेस्ट कैंसर और सर्वाइकल कैंसर स्त्रियों में नंबर वन नंबर टू रिस्पेक्टिवली हैं तो दूसरा सर्वाइकल कैंसर का स्क्रीनिंग कैसे होता है तो उस वो होता है पैप्समियर के द्वारा पैप्समियर एक सिंपल सी टेस्ट रहती है कि जिससे सेल्स लिए जाते हैं तो बच्चेदानी के मुख से और उसको टेस्ट किया जाता है and this test tells us whether there is any symptom of early cervical cancer aur usse wo karna chahiye any sexually active woman once in 3 years should be doing it uh, as a routine as a routine screening so normally 25 26 ke upar ke striyon ko ek bar to once they have attained sexual maturity to usme unhone karna chahiye tisra hota hai purushon ke liye प्रोस्टेट कैंसर के लिए पीएसए नाम की टेस्ट रहती है प्रोस्टेट स्पेसिफिक एंटीजन जो एक ब्लड टेस्ट रहती है जो 50 साल के ऊपर के मर्दों को करना चाहिए ओके एंड इफ यू आर अ स्मोकर अगर आप सिगरेट का सेवन करते हैं या तंबाकू का सेवन करते हैं तो एन ओरल चेकअप एंड एन एक्सरे और अ सिंपल एच आर जो कोविड के वजह से हमें एच अभी सबको मालूम है कि छाती का सी स्कैन किया जाता था तो वैसा ही सिंपल सीटी स्कैन कॉन्ट्रास्ट के बिना अगर करते हैं अगर कोई हेवी स्मोकर हो 
तो उनके लिए फायदेमंद रहता है तो फिर अर्ली डिटेक्शन ऑफ कैंसर हो सकता है सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द कैंसर एंड सम ऑफ द स्क्रीनिंग टेक्निक्स दैट वी कैन यूज देर आर अ लॉट मेनी आई थिंक दैट विल टेक अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट वी कैन रिस्ट्रिक्ट अवर सेल्फ टू दिस सो दैट वी नो वी कैन डिटेक्ट कैंसर अर्ली I think you covered the major cancers which you spoke about in India. Like you said, spoke about lung cancer, breast cancer. So now you have been an oncologist since years. So throughout this journey, in your years of experience, can we talk about the advancement in cancer surgeries? Like traditionally, how you used to do it when you started, and now where it is. So we have seen, uh, we have been lucky to actually, you know, move from an era which was very, very primitive, very, very basic, to an era which is now powered by just powered by technology. Just the other day, I was just looking around in my OT, and there are so many gadgets, so many gadgets that would make a teenager feel proud. You know, the kind of game. It is like having entering into a video game parlor. You have screens, and you have machines, and you have different kind of lights. and uh, so it's really become technology intensive and that is why um, you know it has really changed it has really changed for the surgeons as a surgeon i keep on feeling the challenge to learn new things i mean you have one new phone and you take about a week here we are dealing with life changing technology dealing with saving lives so that brings in responsibility that also brings in challenges uh, and that also brings in advantages so what we have seen is robotic surgery evolving Uh, first laparoscopic surgery where we moved from taking huge incisions to very small incisions and then now robotic surgery now we are talking about ai driven surgery we are talking about machine learning we are talking about chat gpt working in medicine now how this is going to change medicine will be an interesting chapter as of now robotics what we are doing we are doing robotic surgery very routinely we find the machine very precise we find the machine very uh uh making surgery a little more simpler uh it enhances the ability of a surgeon one uh, a lot of people think that the robo is doing the surgery that time is still uh, far off it is right now it is a machine which is completely controlled by the surgeon it is completely a slave and master design uh, the robo does not operate it is the surgeon who operates and uh we are still way off from the time when you know you have those skyfi movies where you know skynet takes decisions and uh people people die so that's not that's not going to happen soon but yes we are on the i feel we are on the cusp of a very different world and 10 years down the line surgery will be a completely different affair so since we live in india and our we have a high ratio of youth population any message you would like to give them yes definitely i think uh, everything begins early i mean the roots of cancer are not or heart disease or diabetes all chronic diseases do not start at 50 they start in your 20s and your 30s uh, i see a lot of youth uh, wasting their uh, youth wasting their energy on addiction on not doing physical activity and i feel sad i mean i might sound like a little grandfatherly here but that's the truth i mean if you are going to get into gutka at the age of 15 which is the age which we have seen we do a lot of programs in schools and we see that uh, children get into it in the 9th and the 10th standard and if you are going to have gutka at that age be sure that by the age of 30 to 35 you are going to get oral cancer and that's a sad thing to have because that is the age where you are going to enjoy what you have done for you have worked so hard to reach where you want to reach you have just bought your first car you have bought your first home and then you get diagnosed with oral cancer that's sad isn't it and why have you have got oral cancer because you started eating gutka at the age of 15 okay so just stops for some time look into the future try to peep into the future just don't think about what career you are going to build also think about what is the kind of health that you want to enjoy at the age of 40 and 50 and if you think about that you will realize that a lot of these chronic diseases be it cancer be it heart disease be it diabetes are under your control have a good physical regime work out eat moderately have 
stay away from addiction and i assure you life is a wonderful thing to have so since childhood like whenever we spoke about cancer in school or college we've always we were always informed that cancer is a treatable di- disease it's not a curable disease but are there any progress in the technology at like due to technological advancements can we completely eradicate cancer definitely i think we we definitely talk about cure in cancer it is no longer just palliation or just trying to control it all depends on what stage of disease that you are talking about see it, as, as is true in life right so if you if you take a stitch in time always is going to save nine so if you are going to have if you are going to diagnose a cancer which has already gone to a diff- all the organs in the body then it is a tough task it's a very tough task to cure but if it is a small cancer if you have detected in time if it is a screen detected cancer then the chances of cure are very very high so people lead normal life so we have a survivors group called maitri parivar where people come and tell their stories we have a book uh, which is uh, which is called is the rise of the phoenix in marathi it's in marathi phoenix se manogat and i would really urge all of you to have a look at the book because it is tells the stories of these six brave ladies who have actually ca- gone through the treatment come out and uh, they lead normal lives so i think it cure is definitely a possibility and we should uh, we should not get scared of the word c anymore okay doctor so it was really nice talking to you today and i definitely hope that we have covered all the major domains that a common person should know about cancer and this was i think the need to do this with you was a very important one so i'm just glad we did it today and i'm very much honored to be here to sit here with you and have a little chat thank you thank you chris thank you for the time today here i did my job i collected some useful information from dr anil so i just want you to do your job and spread this information because it's very important we talk about this neglected topic do share and subscribe to the channel